Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie. Um, thank you for clicking on here. If this is your first time, hi. If this is not your first time, hi. Um, I just wanted to say, first and foremost, thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, you guys, I, I really do this just for fun. My inner circle, um, they do not love home fragrance and wax as much as I do. So for me, doing this is just a way to um, connect with other wax addicts and um, fragrance fanatics and all of that. Like it just, this is so, so nice for me to be able to talk to you guys and respond and meet new people um, who have the same love that I do. So thank you. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, Lacey, um, from Morris and Blue for um, the shout out. Um, and, <coughs> excuse me, um, Martha's, um, Martha from Martha, Martha Fragrance Corner. Um, you, I mean, you guys, thank you. I, I can't even say that enough. So, um, with that said, I have a um, Rose Girl the Rose Girl Mario pre-sale box right here. I got it yesterday. So I'm going to be doing that. <clears throat> but y'all know the deal. First and foremost, I'm just drinking water. Um, I have been feeling extra dehydrated. The, the wind is blowing back up again here. And um, I still have a sinus cough that just is lingering and won't go away. So I'm feeling just kind of extra dehydrated. So I have my, um, my element packet and some water. <clears throat> However, what I am wearing, this is called crystal love for her by Atar. You guys, this bottle, look how stunning this bottle is it's so pretty. So this one is, um, this has some light fruits. There's milk chocolate, nutmeg, white musk, um, bourbon vanilla, tonka bean, and just a slight rose. I do not like rose scents unless it's the actual flower. Um, I don't really like rose perfumes. This has, I don't smell the rose on this. This is just a super yummy um, <clears throat> cut. It's, I, I get a little bit of the chocolate and the nutmeg. Um, some people have said it kind of gives them the vibe of Nutella. I don't get it. Um, that bourbon vanilla really just kind of, um, I don't know. I, I really like this one. I do get the milk chocolate in here though. I don't really pick up on the nutmeg, but that's just me. Um, so that is what I'm wearing right now and will probably be my perfume for the rest of the day. I am working at, I work at a winery and tonight is a food truck Friday is what we call it. Um, so I'll probably wear this cause it's not crazy. It's not offensive. It's just this really beautiful, sweet, chocolatey, um, just a really beautiful scent. So that's that. Okay. Without further ado, guys, I'm excited for this one. So this has the Mario, this is the Mario. And then she had a, I think a, the carnival, um, <clears throat> the carnival part in here, carnival part. I know words I do. So let's just get to it. Um, I, op I opened the box. I just didn't look in the box. Um, I would say that getting all these packages and opening them, but not looking in them means I have really good self-control. But honestly, if I had really good self-control, I wouldn't keep getting all these pa packages. It's really hard to stop. And it's really hard to control when like you are just, you're in the zone, you're ordering stuff and you're like, Oh, that looks good. Ooh, that looks good. And it, it's really, 
hard to do that. So, um, okay. You've got your snap share and tag and her information right there. I'm excited for this. All right. So let's see. We have, this is the, I was about to say starter set. It's not the starter set either. It's the, it's the carnival, this guy. Guys, there's a lot in here. Holy smokes. Okay. I mean, nothing to it but to do it, right? Let's just get in this. I'm excited for this. All right. So we have Circus Concession. This is Macintosh Apple Candy Cane Frosting Funnel Cake and Caramel. Fun color. Um, now, some apples I can do, some apples not so much. So we'll see with the mac. I mean, green, green apple. For some reason, I don't like it in wax. Um, but it really depends on how it's um, how it's blended. So I will be interested to try this and see. Oh yeah. Um, so I am picking up on the caramel, which is fantastic. I, wow. So you've walked into the concession and one person has ordered a funnel cake with ice cream and caramel drizzled on top. There's another plate with, um, caramel apple. So you have all of these, these scents, um, going on when you walk in here. <coughs> yeah, this is a nice one. Um, I mean, with only, with only four, um, I would either do this up in our, in our loft, our movie room. I would do one there. Um, or, you know, I would burn this in here. I only have one burner in there, but, um, we'll see. I can make it work, but that's, I like that one. So I, well done. Next one, deep fried Twinkies. Oh, have you guys ever had a free deep fried Twinkie? I have not, but I heard they're fantastic and I really want to try one. Um, deep fried golden sponge cake whipped buttercream frosting or filling sorry beautiful color i'm excited for this one okay i'm picking up on the the buttercream it is a that's nice Ooh, that is so this would be good like for me, one of the things I've noticed, I was talking, I can't remember who I was talking to about this. Um, I have tried to, um, during this spring, summer, um, non fall, winter vibe, um, with all the fruits out there now, the fruit waxes, I have been really trying to expand my repertoire. And, um, what I have noticed is I enjoy some fruits, but I definitely need it blended with a bakery. Um, I don't like some of these fruits by themselves are very just um, too harsh for me. Um, and it's like the same thing with my perfumes. I like a I like a more creamy, softer, um, not softer as in lighter, but not a scratchy. Um, that's <laughs> that's it all I can think of. Um, but this is really nice. Um, the deep fried sponge cake, I'm not picking up on that, but I can almost guarantee you on warm, it's going to come out. I mostly pick up the, the buttercream. So this would also, this would make a good, um, a blender, um, as well to blend with just like some straight up fruit. So that's 
All right, next on the list, Blackberry Saltwater Tappy. Enough said on that. No description needed. Um, I pick up on the Blackberry a lot. So when I get saltwater taffy, I'm usually picking up like, I usually, like when I purchase it to eat, I usually am getting like, I'll pick up some popcorn, I'll pick up a, a strawberry cheesecake. Um, I don't typically do fruit saltwater taffy. Eggnog, um, birthday cake, like that type of thing. That's what I will pick up when I do saltwater taffy. I'm picking up blueberry, but I'm not picking up the saltwater taffy vibe. But that may come out on warm, so we'll definitely have to we'll definitely have to see about that one. Next one, cinnamon, sugar, bear claws, and pretzels. No description needed because it's right there. This one I'm excited for. Sampler, circus sampler. That's what this is. Holy moly. Ooh. Yes. Pick up on the cinnamon and <clears throat> I love a good bear. I love a real bear claw. Um, don't hand me a donut shaped like this and put some white icing on it and call it a bear claw. That is not a bear claw. Absolutely not. I will fight you. I want a real spot on bear claw. So stay with me. This is you. You're in a Hallmark town and you've walked into the bakery and you've got just this full array of really beautifully made pastries. You've got your chocolate croissants. You've got your regular croissants. You've got your coffee cakes. Like it is full on, right? And you're like, excuse me, I would like a bear claw. You grab that bear claw and it is just, you can see the cinnamon and you can see the, the almond slivers on top of that. You take it to your table And you, I, I pick up my food and I do smell it, especially if it's pastry. I just addicted to pastry. You guys, my, my thighs will say so as well, but you, you've just, you, you've sat down at the table and you had just, you've picked it up and you've taken a bite and you've got that whiff, that smell. And I mean, to me, I love pretzel. I'm not picking up pretzel maybe because like I love a good bear claw and that's what I'm picking up here. Not mad at this at all, at all. You enjoy that bear claw. Heck yeah. Okay. Next, it looks like this was part of a like chunks. So berry jam funnel cake, um, blueberry jam. Berries, vanilla, sticky caramel, powdered sugar, topped funnel cake. There you go. Um, <clears throat> I like strawberry on my funnel cake. Um, peaches, maybe. Um, I have not had a funnel cake with blackberry or blueberry jam. So we'll see. Okay, I am picking up um, like the, I'm picking up the funnel cake, a little bit of the caramel, and the blackberry jam is, so, got your funnel cake, 
and they have put the blackberries and the blackberry jam and then they've powdered it with sugar and then they've drizzled it a little bit with the caramel sauce. Yeah. So it's the, the blackberry jam is there, but it's not, um, it's not first and foremost. It's, it's covered with the other stuff. This is really nice. I like this one. I'm excited to try it and see, um, how that blackberry jam comes about. So next one, candy apple glazed donuts. So green apple, caramel apples and glazed donuts. Here we go. This is where I, this one might be questionable for me because it's got the green apple. I'm okay with caramel apple, but green apple sometimes, sometimes does not 100% always work for me. So there you go. let's see. Hmm. No, um, I'm, I might burn like one cube of this, like in a tea, tea warmer right next to me, just so I can try it and see. Um, but I wouldn't like, I don't know if I would want to right now, I wouldn't want to put this in my house right now. And the reason is that I, uh, the apple, the green apple and the caramel apple for me, some reason is I'm not even picking up the donuts. Um, I feel like, I don't want to say generic, but, um, I feel like you had like an apple cleaner and you sprayed your countertop with like, that's the vibe I'm getting on this one. However, it's doesn't say when it was poured number one and number two, um, stuff truly does come out differently on warm and who knows, this could be like my next most favorite, favorite. I know words. Um, my next most favorite scent because on warm it came, it just came alive. So unless it's a scent you absolutely do not like, I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not 100% my vibe. So. All right. Next one. Frosted circus animal cookies. This color is pretty too. This is very summery. Nice peach and cream. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. I cannot tell you when the last time I had the mother's circus animal cookies. I'm a, I couldn't tell you, but I literally just got a flashback of me when the girl, when my girls were smaller. Um, and, um, me opening up a bag and handing them a couple of them. I, yeah, it's that, it's that the frosting for sure. Um, this is, it is what it says it is. And that'll, that's nice. That's a fun one. Sometimes you just need something not so serious and that's okay. County fair cherry crumb pie. I I enjoy pie. I enjoy pie more when it's like a crumble top or it's got the big sugar crystals on top. I don't like just the plain pie top. Like I need, I need it a little dressed up. Um, plump cherries, cinnamon sugar, flaky pie crust. We shall see. And you got your, your cherry color and your pie color. We, um, we have a fair that usually goes on. My husband, cause he's a firefighter has to work sometimes the fair. Um, and it's a, it's a huge 
play it's out it's in alameda county it's alameda county fair and holy smokes there's so much food and so much stuff he hates work he hates working it because it's usually in the obviously it's in the summer in the heat and he's got to wear like his full-on blues <clears throat> not his dress blues but his work pants and stuff like that they're not the most breathable thing but um I would like to go this year, but we'll see. We have a lot of stuff. We have a lot of stuff planned this year, so we'll see. This is this is nice. Um, I am picking up the cherry. Slightly medicinal cherry. Just just a smidge. Um, but I am picking up like the the pie crust. And I the cinnamon, I feel like the cinnamon kind of, I think if the cinnamon sugar were not in here, that cherry would be super medicinal. But for some reason that cinnamon kind of calls it back to its the role it's supposed to play. So um, I will once again probably take a, take a small little sliver of this and, and try it out. Um, this one might be good this one actually might be good to play with the um with this guy the cinnamon sugar bear claw those may play what really well together next one carnival lemonade stand refreshing lemonade with a lime twist so it looks like you can break those up. This is a nice sample. That's a pretty big sample. I would have to blend it with something like this. The deep fried Twinkies. I would have to blend this. This is, I love lemon um i don't like it to smell cleaner so like sensi has the lemon drizzle cake they have the strawberry lemon pound cake or something like that that's what i would have to do with this one i would this is just too it is very lemonade though um it is like i literally just got the pucker right back here like you were standing outside of, um, what's that place? The corn dogs and the lemonade. And then they did the strawberry lemonade or something like that. I can't remember. That's what this reminds me of. Um, someone has done freshly squeezed lemonade, poured it in your glass and you just get that pucker right there. This is a good lemonade. It's not a, um, it's not cleaner, which I appreciate. Next one, Carnival Candy. So fresh, prick, fresh, my ratings, fresh picked strawberries, Kool-Aid rock candy. This is going to be very, very sweet. I have a feeling. <clears throat> Whew, that is sweet. Holy smokes. Yeah, it is. Um, obviously the fresh picked strawberries is to give the, um, give the rock hard candies, Kool-Aid a, um, a, a scent, not just sweet sugar. Cause you didn't put any of that into like the hard candies or the Skittles. It would just be a sweet. It wouldn't have any, obviously any flavor. So strawberry is going to do that for you. Um, yeah, I just got a picture in my head of when I was little and my mom used to, um, my mom used to, um, make the Kool-Aid, you know, the guy who came crashing through the wall and that, that smell of the powder going into the container before she added the sugar in the water. Oh, that, that's, woo. 
Wow. Um, that's the amazing thing about scent and fragrance is you create scents, you create memories with scent and you remember with scent and it is a beautiful thing that scent and fragrance can um, bring up an array of emotions, right? So you had, you had a bad breakup and that day you were wearing a certain perfume and you smell that perfume, you're like, absolutely not. Or the cologne he used to wear, um, someone walks by with that and you like want to punch someone because it reminds you of him or um, anything, right? Kool-Aid. It's just a beautiful thing and that's why I truly love fragrance. I love fragrance in wine. I love fragrance in the bourbons and whiskeys that my husband and I share together. Perfumes, home fragrance. Like I just, it is just so fun to me to be able to um, just remember things or create new things with scent. So anyways, long story short. <laughs> um, next, State Fair Kettle Corn. You guys, my husband makes the most amazing kettle corn. He makes it a lot at the station. Um, he doesn't make it a whole lot here only because he would have to make like five or six big containers because I would eat probably three of those on my own. Uh, he makes an amazing kettle corn. Oh, so good. So brown sugar, pecans, caramel, sweet, and salty kettle corn. Okay, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm not picking up a whole lot on the popcorn yet. Just open this, right? It hasn't aired out or anything. It hasn't opened up. It's almost like a bottle of wine where you just got to like open it up and let it air out and, and let it do its thing. Picking up a little bit on a little bit of the popcorn. I wish there was a little more salted popcorn in this. And a little bit of butter to um, to create that popcorny vibe, right? Because when you think of popcorn, you think a little bit of the butter. So if she, there was a little bit of butter popcorn in this with the sweet and salty, mwah, that would be so good. And yes, now that it's opened up, picking up a little bit more popcorn. Definitely picking up on the caramel, and I am excited to put this in my warmers for sure. All right, we've got four more, and then I have my Mario collection, and we're already 30 minutes in here already. Um, ring toss, so blue raspberry snow cone, fizzy pops, grape snow cone, lychee, pink stiletto cotton candy. Okay, there we go. Looks like this is part of a, a block or a loaf. One of the things I'm figuring out is I don't like the fizzy all the time in my scents. Um, the, all the new stuff that I've been smelling that has fizzy in it, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, so this is just, it's fruit and fizzy and more fruit and cotton candy. Like there's nothing, I, I would have to blend this with something. Whew. And I might be too close to it. Okay. My nose in the bag's not working. However, I pick up the grape for sure. 
I'm not picking up like I'm picking up grape and the fizzy. So I would have I would have still have to blend this with something um, because it is not 100% my vibe. Um, I don't know if I will blend it with something. I may actually give this to um, to my daughter who loves scents like this. Um, she would enjoy this and with so many scents in my collection. Oh, well, I've got puppy. Well, not really puppy dog. We call him puppy still. Um, he just kind of rolled over and did a whole moan and groan. I don't know if you heard that. Um, yeah. So, I mean, with all the scents going on in the world, in my collection, um, I, to have to, to not have to, but to, to have to find something to blend with this, to enjoy it, um, just seems, I mean, on one hand, that's cool. That's fun. You can do that. Um, but on the other hand, I have so many scents that are already blended. The, the blueberry, whatever I had in here, I think, I don't remember. Like the pie filling and stuff like that. Like that's already blended into something that I would truly enjoy. So, um, whatever. I'm going on a rant. Whatever. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> the ring toss. Um, whack a rabbit on oh, the shapes of rabbit, you guys look so cute. So this has peanut butter cookies, vanilla ice cream, and waffle cone. I'm excited for this. I love a good waffle cone. I love vanilla ice cream and I do enjoy peanut butter cookies. So I mean, let's see here. Ooh, I almost picked up coffee. Hold on. It's like, like you got to air it out, right? I don't, I, you know, when you walk into an old school casino or an old school restaurant hotel that they used to allow smoking and it's that staleness that's that was my first sniff on here so I'm trying to get that out of my head <sighs> better out of the bag I was a little concerned. Much better out of the bag. Okay. I'm definitely picking up on the peanut butter. And the waffle cone. That makes me happy. Okay. Ooh, I was a little, I was a little worried there because I was super excited for this one. Yeah. In the bag is weird. Out of the bag is much better. So on warm exciting we'll see last one in the carnival sampler collection is step right up chocolate covered pumpkin peanut brittle cinnamon latte and churros yes to all those words oh let me show you Yes, dark chocolate, like dark chocolate. And you've got your the, the pumpkin peanut brittle and they've just done that. Yep. So here's the story on this one, you guys. Here it is. <clears throat> you've been at the carnival all day and you are staying because there's a band coming in about three hours and you you got to stay there because you got to watch the band but you need a latte and you need you need to pick me up and so 
you go to the you go to the booth and you're like holy crap it's pumpkin pumpkin pecan brittle dipped in dark chocolate yeah i'm gonna have some of that so you grab that and you have that in your hand and you're you're ready and you go oh well we've got three hours till we go to um till the band comes on so we might as well get a latte and you know what cinnamon latte smells fantastic so let's get that so you've got that and then your someone in your party goes "Ooh, look it's churros and they're freshly made and they're standing right next to you. Yeah, that's what that is. And I'm not mad about it. That chocolate really comes out. That chocolate really comes out. That's, that's a fun one. This is a fun one. Nice. Cool. Okay. You guys on to what is with my this is already 35 minutes. Okay, so we've got the Mario collection. I've never tried the, I've never had the Mario collection. Um, I have had Rose Girls before. I have a crap ton of her, her stuff. Um, love it. Um, I, I love these things. Like that just makes my life a whole lot easier. So this is what we have. We have fire. Hold on. Fire Mario plus Christmas Eve and Cookie Land. So eggnog, royal sugar cookie, monster cookie, marshmallow smoothie, donut holes, marshmallow fireside, and espresso beans. I don't need anything else. You guys can have the rest of my stuff. I just want this. I'm kidding, but holy smokes. Holy smokes. I am excited to smell this. I guess. I guess. Ha ha. Oh my god, this smells so good. This smells so stinking good. Uh huh. I get the espresso. Donut holes, fireside, espresso, eggnog. Um, with all of these flavors going on, I don't know if the eggnog is going to come out on cold. It will probably come out on warm, but it'll if it does, it'll be light. I don't think it is the star of the show. But, yeah. Yeah, I like that one a lot. This will be, um, this is a good cozy, like, um, uh, you are ready for fall and you're done with the, the blazing heat outside. That, that's a really good one. Next one is Bowser's Breath. So campfire. Crispy burned cinnamon sugar toast. Can you see the vibe I was going for, y'all? I am stocking up for my fall so that by the time fall comes around, these guys are good and cured. I don't have to think about it. I can just go, hmm, I feel like crispy burned cinnamon sugar toast. Why not? All I gotta do is pull them out and stick it in my warmers. Ooh. That um, yeah, I don't necessarily get burnt cinnamon sugar toast, but I get cinnamon sugar toast. I close my eyes and I have just buttered buttered the bread. And I put that on and, I, and I've gone to take a bite. And once again, it has wafted up. Um, I don't get a whole, I don't get the campfire. That's not to say it's not there. That's not to say it won't come out on warm. This is pretty. This is pretty. That'll be, that will be um, 
that'll be nice to burn. I might actually, uh, no, I have plenty I, I can burn right now. I was thinking that might be what I do tomorrow, but no, I can do patience. I have plenty of wax that I can use right now. Um, Blizzard on the Star Express. So candy cane, eggnog, ice cream, marshmallow, caramel cheesecake, frosted sugar cookies. Pretty nice. Let it air out. I got, I, I don't know what I got. Whew. You know what's throwing me off? Is the candy cane. Because the can, for some reason right now, the candy cane with this, all I'm picking, like, it smells like, like a cleaner that has the mint or the spearmint in it. I'm not picking up, like, I feel, mm -mm. I will let this cure a little bit and, um, we'll, we'll see, but, um, we'll see slightly picking up a little more eggnog. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to leave this bag open let it air out a second and come back to it. Um, because I think that's the thing is that candy cane. Um, I like some candy cane and some mints, but that cannot be the star of the show or that's a no for me. Um, I like it really well blended with other things, albeit chocolate or, um, a bakery scent or something, but it's, it's gotta be kind of in the background and a slight peekaboo around the corner. Like, hi, I'm here. Um, but I'll go back over here. That's what I like my peppermints and mints to be. I don't like it to be the star of the show <clears throat> or, um, the supporting actor. Um, I like it to be a background character. Next one, Autumn Mountain. So Cider Lane, Dunk My Donut, and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. There we go. Guys, this is going to be another hour-long video. What is going on with me? Yeah, on the Cider Lane for sure. You're at a, you're at a pumpkin farm, and they sell, they've got their booth, and they've got the cider. And they're selling donuts. Wow, that's pretty. I like that one. This one, um, I, this is a very good beginning of fall. Like you are ready for fall and you need those vibes. This is it. That is really, really nice. Okay, let's try this one again. Okay, the... It has calmed down and I'm picking up a little bit more of the eggnog. Um, yeah, I think cure time is going to make a huge difference for me on, on this, um, blizzard on the star express. That's going to make a huge difference. So, um, this one will definitely be done in the fall sometime and, um, hopefully um, I will really enjoy this because I do pick up a little bit on that eggnog and caramel now that it's kind of <clears throat> had time to aerate. All right, next, a very Mario Thanksgiving. So sweet potato, royal sugar cookie, pie crust, caramelized pralines. I think that's what it says. Caramelized pralines, sweet pumpkin pie, and a sprinkle of marshmallow. Yeah. Okay. There's, there's a lot of words on here. Okay. 
Caramelized, pra caramelized praline sweet pumpkin pie. Yep. Royal sugar cookie. Yep. Sweet potato. This is a nice one too. Um, I feel like I'm picking up a little bit of cinnamon. Um, this is a nice one. Uh, this is one I would burn all year round though. I like this one. Um, <clears throat> the marshmallow, obviously, sprinkle of marshmallows, uh, a, a background to help kind of like blend all of this together. Um, so, and, and the same thing with the pie crust. Those might come out more on, um, more on warm, but I have a feeling that those are just really light, um, background for you to, to just kind of like, um, create that full story for you. Next one, Star Beans Cafe and Poochie's Pop Pops. So vanilla cake pops, peanut butter, graham crackers, pretzels, espresso, vanilla, crunch donuts, and vanilla bean noel. Holy cannoli. Yeah. Yes. Yes. The peanut butter. The espresso. Yep. I, I need a whole bunch more of this. So the graham cracker cookies, the peanut butter, the espresso and like oh. holy smokes this is so fun this is so pretty pretty in a very yummy kind of way like you you have been you are making peanut butter cookies you know the ones with the forks you're making those You've been baking all day. You've got sugar cookies. You, you've got a few different cookies. Your last cookies you've done, you're doing for the day is peanut butter cookies, right? And you're tired. You've been baking all day. You need, a, you need your fourth or fifth cup of espresso because you got to get through a few dozen of these cookies. It's the holidays. Of course you need to get through these cookies, right? And you, that's, Fresh peanut butter cookies and a beautiful cup of espresso. Christmas music in the background. Your Christmas tree is lit and you're ready. I, I need more of this. I need a whole lot more of that. I got to keep an eye out for that one. That is really good. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three, four, five more. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it in under an hour, I don't think. Next one, Mario's home for the holidays. So Christmas wish, oh Christmas tree, toasted marshmallow, royal sugar cookie, and vanilla bean Noel. Heck yeah. That would be fun to do with the peanut butter. You've got a fresh Christmas tree and you're making peanut butter cookies with a cup of espresso. Ooh, that is, wow. Okay, all I'm picking up right now is pine salt. So I'm gonna let that air out. <coughs> wow, that's strong. <clears throat> I'm going to let that rest for a second before I come back to it. Um, this one, gaming on the beach. So cotton candy, coconut cream pie. I love a good coconut cream pie. Pink sugar and boom boom type. Yeah, that's nice. Um, this is one I can melt tomorrow and I might. 
This is fun. This is strong. This is going to be a, a good, a good solid warming melter for sure. Um, the cotton candy, the pink sugar, I for sure pick up. The boom boom, yep. And the coconut cream pie, you guys, it's all there. It's all very well blended together. Absolutely. I will probably melt this tomorrow. I'm excited to melt that one. Okay, um, let's go to Coney Island. So summer scoop, um, Yankee Candle type, cereal killer, waffle cone, and salt water taffy. This also is one that I might do tomorrow. I have been a burning fool with these, like, when I say I got some teddy bees that were from 2020 and 2021 that need to be um, used up right away, I'm not lying. I am like melting in the morning and then switching it out and melting in the evening. Ooh, this smells like Fruit Loop cereal color. Yep. I am picking up. <clears throat> That's strong. Summer scoop. I, I don't know what that is. I'm picking up fruit almost like a um, like a gelato. Um, I don't know what, what's in summer scoop. I'm picking up cereal killer waffle cone. Not so much saltwater taffy. Um, this is pretty. <clears throat> I will have to I will melt like one little piece and see what comes out on warm and see if this is a keeper or not. Um, only because the fruit in there, there's something scratchy about it to me and I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's the summer scoop because I don't know what that, I don't know what's in that blend. So, all right, let's go back to Mario's home for the holidays. Um, first melted, all I got was pine saw. I love a Christmas tree, but... Um, Okay, and it's calmed down. I do get Christmas tree. Everything else is, it's not as pine saw like, but this one <clears throat> is strong. I would have to either blend it with something or um, I will once again, before I get all excited and put this throughout my whole house, I'm going to take a square of that and put it in a burner right next to me so I can kind of see um, what's going to happen with that one <clears throat> on warm and if I need to blend it with anything or if it's a no. Okay, the last two, you guys. I might actually make it. Um, Shadow Queen and Haunted Library. So, get my glasses. Um, Lord of Misrule, Ms., uh, Lush Type. Marshmallow Fireside, Tobacco, Vanilla Bourbon, Suede, Rosewood, Leather, Old Library Books, and Fireplace. That is also totally up my alley. Yeah, this is a... Um, almost... I almost get like a vanilla tobacco. Hear me out. So I have three perfumes. <clears throat> the vibe I'm getting on this is is like I had like I had layered perfumes. So there, that's also a thing where you can take one perfume, spray it on, and then put another one and spray it over that to create um, your own your own kind of blend. This is what this reminds me of. Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanilla, Tobacco Vanille, whatever you want to say. Um, replicas by the Fireside. And um, Oh 
hold on. It's right there by the fireside. Oh, and also replica um, whispers in the library. Uh, yeah. This is a really nice, smoky library. Um, for sure. It's the end of the night. <clears throat> Everything's cleaned up. You got your fireplace going. Um, you have your fake candles going for ambiance. You've got your blanket. You've got your um, nice after dinner drink. And you are ready to cozy up with a book. This is it. That's really, really pretty. That's a nice one. You guys, I might actually make it. I might actually make it in under an hour. Next one, um, Princess Peaches Hot Girl Summer. So, um, fresh picked strawberries, cotton candy, frosting, coconut cream pie, and mango sorbet. sorbet. So, this is definitely going to be a summer scent. Wow. Um, wow. You guys, I really, I like this one. What the heck? At the end of the week, it's supposed to be like in the 90s. And I'm going to have to remember to pull this out and melt this because holy cannoli. So I think... I'm picking up the strawberries for sure. Um, you know why? <clears throat> the coconut cream pie. The coconut cream pie brings down the mango and the and the strawberry. Like it kind of um, tells it to slow its roll, and like slow it down, dog. And let's let's hold hands. And let's do this thing together because that's really really pretty. And I'm, I'm, wow, that's really pretty. Yeah, so you guys, thank you. Another long video. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Um, I think tomorrow or Sunday, I'm going to try. Um, I think I'm going to do a, um, a house wax warmer tour. Um, that way you can see the before and then when... Um, August, September rolls around and I have my Halloween stuff out, um, then you can see, then I'll do another one for that. Um, I have, um, I have more tea light stuff that came in. I have one more that I'm waiting on that's coming in later on today. So I will do a quick video of that. And that is it. I, I think that's it. I, I think. So thank you guys for watching, for hanging out with me for an hour again. What? I feel so small. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for subscribing and commenting and talking with me about this crazy stuff we call wax. And um, thank you to the other YouTubers, Lacey and um, Dazzling Sense with Chris and Nat and Jack, like just you guys, thank you. Thank you so much for just even, um, just the communication back and forth talking about wax. Like this is so fun um, and such a really fun community to be in that I can't even thank you guys enough. So um, hopefully I'll be making a video tomorrow. We'll see what time I get home tonight and how my day goes tomorrow. So anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I will talk to you later.